let's start. Go to the bottom, right click, toolbars, choose the links. Now this will add here the links bar. Hold that one, control mouse key and drag that to either the bot uh, sorry the right side or the top of your screen. I'm doing this to the right side because I already have one on the top. It will show links which is the title and it will show the icons, small ones with the text. Now you can all change that. Right click, view will view your large or your small icons, you can set that. Open folder will open the folder where all your links are stored. Show text. Um, this will show the text or if you unclick it, show nothing, only the icons. Show title will show the title or if you unclick it, doesn't show it. Close toolbar will just um, close it. So in that case, <laughs> you will have to start from the beginning again. Always on top. Well, I have decided not to have it always on top uh, because it can get in the way a little bit. It's a, there is an easy way to start it up um, wherever you are. So if you have another program open, like for example, you have a web page open, uh, Todai's Tips and Tricks, for example. Now, what you can do: hold down the Windows key and D, and there you are. You're back at your desktop with where, of course, your link bar is. Now I've created one shortcut on my desktop. Uh, normally I don't have any. You can uh, hold that, control key, and then drag that. Add it to your uh, links bar, and there it is. And you can start up your Camp Studio from there. Now delete this shortcut. Click it and hold on. Delete shortcut because it's. Uh, it doesn't delete the actual program. Now that is for the uh, toolbar or the link bar, whatever you want to call it. Now there is uh, another way to um, enjoy your photos or whatever you want to see on your desktop. Here I have a wallpaper changer, uh, which is a Microsoft free program downloadable from Microsoft website. Basically, you can configure that wallpaper changer, show one still image, um, change to the next wallpaper image, but you can configure that the way that it automatically changes, wallpaper changes every 50 minutes it says here, but you can change that, uh, for example, now be 30 minutes or whatever, one hour. It, uh, you basically have to choose directory here are the photos in the directory and well basically that will uh, change the photo on your desktop every, every time. You can also choose to have one still image. Okay well that's for the uh, tutorial for now. Uh, enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions.